I'm delighted in my capacity as president of the UICC to welcome you to this wonderful and momentous event on the occasion of the World Health Assembly here in Geneva, Switzerland on the 22nd of May, 2022. Whoever would have dreamt that just a few months ago as we were limping back to normalcy after the COVID pandemic, that we would have such a wonderful gathering here, but I'm glad we are here together today. About a year ago, Carrie called me and asked me if we could talk about a new initiative that he felt the UICC could help to establish to address the chronic lack of essential medicines in low and middle income countries. Now I'm a clinician treating cancers for over 30 years in India. I was also an administrator, uh, a director of one of the biggest hospital. So I, I could see firsthand the plight of patients among who I treated and Carrie's suggestion or the thought was music to my ears. Put candidly, I would say if this went through, we would be saving lives. We must remember that less than 50% of drugs on the WHO model essential lists are unavailable in low and middle income countries. As some of y'all here would be aware, we at the UICC have a proven track record of launching several new organizations in the last decade or so, each one set up to address a global health issue which could benefit from a coordinated, multi-organizational approach. The NCD Alliance, McCabe Center of Law and Cancer, the International Cancer Control Partnership, and the City Cancer Challenge conceived, incubated, launched, and then supported by the UICC through the early years so that they become respected organizations that they are today. So I learned, I've been on the board for over a decade, and I've learned when Carrie says something, it's a great idea, a new initiative, we should listen to him. So the Atom Coalition is in many aspects a putting together of the amazing work done by many over the years to improve access to cancer medicines in low and lower middle income countries. Each one of you here has helped cancer patients with great su success, sharing a similar passion and mission that we share at the UICC, and it's a great pride that we call you and we feel your real friends and partners in this initiative. Together, we form an incredibly powerful group. Our strength lies in our collective passion and commitment to helping all patients, regardless of where they live, to receive the care and treatment that they need. It's an honor to be here today with all of you all. I have with me Jeff Dunn, a dear friend over the years, decades of crusade towards cancer control, who takes over from me in October, and he's pledged his commitment to continue the Atom Dream. Later today, we'll have Princess Dina, my predecessor. She is someone else who's committed to health equity across the, uh, the world, and we'll hear her views towards the end of this evening. Today, we declare an intent to bring all our resources, knowledge, experience, to address the challenge of this very important issue of essential cancer medicines among those that do not have. We are aware that this is going to be a long journey, and this is just the beginning. We know it will not be easy. We know we will come across multiple obstacles and barriers, and we know that forming and working as a coalition has its own challenges. But in this room, we have people and organizations that can make a difference. 
we have the tools we have the energy we have the commitment we have the passion we all share the same ambition to me atom will give cancer patients and their partners parents children not just hope but a real fighting chance to lead a longer healthier happier life despite a diagnosis of cancer today we launch a collaboration which spans civil society international organizations the private sectors and others who want to work together because they can make a difference and see atom as a way to amplify their own great work extend it give hope to more than 2 billion people around the world who do not have access to essential cancer medicines as president of the uicc i assure you the total commitment of the uicc our staff our board of directors everybody at the uicc to see this endeavor successful i'd fail in my duty if i don't thank people who have pledged to become partners of the atom coalition access to medicines foundation all can asco the american cancer uh, american society of clinical oncology the american society of clinical pathology iotic astrazeneca beijing bio ventures for global health bms defeat the ncd partnership direct relief giliad global hope texas children hospital health finance institute ifpma igba the max foundation i hope i got that right pat <laughs> macabe center medicines patient pool national comprehensive cancer network novartis path project eco roche sanofi silvester comprehensive cancer care and teva and of course the world health organization bente where was she we are delighted to have you with us this evening if we cannot make this happen i don't know who will i also invite our doors are open other allied organization to join us in achieving our ambition we need all hands on the deck i'm pleased to say that pat garcia gonzalez has agreed to be the inaugural chair of the atom coalition governing council thank you very much pat wonderful <laughs> my thanks to another dear friend gilberto lopez who's on our uicc board who's agreed to join me as the inaugural co-chair of the atom executive committee thank you gilberto <laughs> ladies gentlemen and distinguished guests i thank you for your commitment to work together to ensure that people do not die in low and low middle income countries from a cancer for want of the availability of drugs your public commitment today on the 22nd of may 2022 to be a partner in the atom coalition is applauded and appreciated by us at the uicc cancer community thank you for coming here this evening